Hey guys. Um, well, we're here in uh, Bayonne. Uh, Joe's out uh, walking around or something. I think he went. He was going to walk to the ocean, which I don't know how far that is, but um, he's uh, he's a good walker. So um, anyway, we had a little hiccup getting out of Paris. Um, our flight um, came in okay. I, I, uh, what happened is we um, we were supposed to fly out today, Monday. Um, that's when we'd booked our flight, but I got a text message on Friday that said our flight was canceled due to a uh, strike, which I think um, I think was due to uh, today's Labor Day in France. So um, there's a lot of things that are closed, and um, it turns out a lot of trains have been canceled as well. So. Um, so uh, yeah, so we got a uh, message that our flight was canceled. We had to rebook on a different day, and rather than take the Tuesday flight that they were recommending, you know, pushing it back another day, I looked at the weather patterns, and it looked like uh, there's going to be a window of good weather for three days, starting on Tuesday, uh, like Tuesday and Wednesday maybe. Um, Tuesday's tomorrow. Uh, so. Uh, Rather than wait, we decided we're ready to go, so we grabbed a Saturday flight. Um, so we got uh, flew out at uh, out of LAX on Saturday at 7:45, and landed at uh, about 3:30 Paris time uh, the, on Sunday. Um, so flight got in okay. It was funny though. Uh, we uh, I had booked two aisle seats um, side by side, so uh, one of uh, Joe and I uh, were going to each you know, one would be sitting on one aisle and then right next to him, I would be on the other aisle. So, um, so, uh, Joe was in front of me as we were boarding the plane. And as we get closer, I, I poked him and said, we're, you know, we're in row 20 right there. Those, those two empty seats on the aisle. And then we get closer and he, he sees, uh, on the left side near the window, um, the guy in the middle is really, let's call him stout. <laughs> and was overflowing the seat about four inches, uh, overflowing into the aisle seat about four inches. And, uh, and then the seat on the middle, the, the, the other side of the aisle in that center section, uh, the seat next to it had a little girl about four years old who, who barely fit in the seat. She was so tiny. And uh, so Joe stops about, you know, just, just before, and he turns to me and just goes, which one's mine? <laughs> So, so I, uh, I gave him the seat next to the little girl, figured, uh, you know, he, he'd do better over there. So, uh, anyway, so I had a, a rather large guy overflowing into my seat and I'm not a little guy either. Uh, you know, I'm 200 pounds, six one. So, um, you know, it was rather uncomfortable, but I had the aisle seat, which, uh, which I recommend on those flights. Um, I know a lot of times you'd normally think well, grab the window seat cause then nobody's stepping over you and all that. But when the flight's 11 hours, you need to be able to get up and walk around once in a while. Um, so, you know, I get up about every hour and stretch my legs, make sure my blood's circulating and everything and, and, um, do some, you know, stretching over, you know, near the, near the hatch and, uh, and, um, you know, so, uh, so we got through that flight. Okay. And landed. All right. And, um, and stayed in sort of a, the, uh, the hostel we stayed in is, this is Joe's first, first time out of the country. And I want I want him to have the hostel experience. So, so the whole Camino is kind of like that. And so we started right off in, uh, in a very inexpensive by Paris standards. It was, it was 25 euros, including breakfast which is really cheap um, and it was not not it wasn't terrible it wasn't the certainly wasn't the worst place I've ever stayed um, but uh, but it wasn't great it was entry-level metal bunk beds and um, and it was a four-story four-floor walk up uh, with a really steep staircase spiral kind of a staircase um, and we were on the fourth floor so um, so uh, oh here comes Joe I'll pause this when Joe walks up and finish it in a, little bit but uh yeah so we so we stayed there and then i treated him uh on the train ride uh to first class tickets on the tgv which was really nice definitely splurge on that if you get a chance hang on one second so joe's back it's joe mm. had a long walk mm. <laughs> so uh anyway so i was talking about um our uh our adventure on the trains today um, that we got, uh, we got stuck in, well, we didn't get stuck. We were in Paris and 
and uh, there's a uh, rail strike, uh, probably has something to do with maybe Labor Day or something. Um, and uh, so they didn't have the normal train going uh, from Paris down to uh, Bayonne direct. Um, so we had to find another way to get down and, um, and we took the train to, um, uh, to uh, Bordeaux. Uh, so I, I splurged on some first-class tickets, which was really nice. The seats were really nice, recliner seats, really clean compartments. So definitely worth, uh, if you take that train, it's definitely worth uh, spending the extra money to get the first-class tickets. So, um, but, uh, and then, um, so if you get stuck, because uh, I saw someone else um, who, uh, who had also gotten stuck, they were posting in one of the chat rooms online that they were they were in Paris and, and the train was canceled they didn't know how to get down and uh, so uh, the I think probably the best way to get down if you can't get that train directly uh, to Bayonne uh, to meet the connection over to St. John Pied de Port uh, is to um, take the uh, take the TGV train out of Paris the out of the Mont Montparnasse station and um, and uh, take it down to Bordeaux. And then from Bordeaux, they have connecting trains all day long, every couple of hours, I think, uh, that gets you over to Bayonne. Uh, it's a two hour train ride to Bayonne from there. So um, we, we didn't get here in time to get a train into St. John Pied de Port on time. Um, the Pilgrim's office was gonna be closed and pretty much every place we, we looked was uh, pretty well booked up. Uh, so um, I didn't want to take a chance of getting over there and not having a place to stay. Um, so we're gonna we're, in the morning we're gonna take a uh, take a train over over to St. John Pied de Port. And I guess the way it works is um, I called the place that I stayed last time, and uh, and I asked him. Uh, he said he's full, um, but maybe check with him in the morning if there's a cancellation. So that does happen if you if you just want to get there and, and wing it. Um, the way to do it, apparently, is to, you can just walk around town if, if every place is, if you look online and every place is pretty much full, uh, just walk around and see if anybody has any cancellations. And then, um, and then uh, the other place is there's a municipal uh, uh, place um, at the very top past, um, at the very top of the hill past the, uh, Pilgrim's office. Uh, you'll see if you look on. Um, I forget the name of the gate, but if you if you find the uh, Saint John Pied de Port Pilgrim's office, um, it's at the very top of the the hill in in the in the middle of town, and then you go up past that, and you'll see a municipal. Um, uh, I don't know if it's at, uh, on the maps. I don't know if it says hostel or or something. Um, but uh, you'll see it says municipal and I don't believe they take reservations and you just walk up and if you get there early enough um, you, you'll probably get a bed I'm told um, the, the guy that I was talking to where I stayed last year he said yeah just go up there and uh, if you get there early you know we'll be there in the morning so um, if you get there early you'll probably get a bed and he said if you don't um, at the pilgrims office they will find you a bed somewhere he said if 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 everywhere in town is full and you're sitting there without a place to sleep he said they open the firehouse and let people sleep in there so i got a feeling you're sleeping on the floor uh, but you have a roof over your head so it's uh you know you're not going to be sleeping in the in the rain or in the streets uh you know if you just show up so um so that's what we're going to do we're just going to show up um we'll get there early enough and i i feel pretty confident that we'll we'll find a place to um to uh, sleep for the night and then we'll and then we'll start our walk on uh, Wednesday morning bright and early um, so uh, so that's the plan and um, and uh, I'll, uh, we'll start our walk on Wednesday and then I'll put out a I'll put out some videos uh, once we get walking see you guys